All right, in this video, we're going to talk um, a little bit about the relationship between your transmitter and your receiver. <clears throat> uh, in this case, we're using an AR620 um, receiver. And uh, it's jumping ahead a little bit, and it's going to be tough to see uh, whenever you, um, let's see. You can see that I have wires going in there, and you can almost see that the, the, each of the ports that you can enter into the receiver are numbered, and the top is uh, is the battery, and then it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the bottommost port. So let's just start with uh, that understanding, and eventually that's going to correspond to your transmitter over here. Um, so. Looking at the transmitter, this has just been turned on. This is going to be your main screen. Uh, something else that uh, is going to come up from time to time, I'm getting a little bit of glare here, so let's pull this back, uh, is um, what kind of model. And you can see this plane that's showing up here. This is called Acro. And uh, from what we understand, the Acro is going to be uh, the best uh, option to start with. Uh, if you're trying to make a bots IQ driving uh, robot, um, there are no driving robot models that are preset on this transmitter. So they're all planes or plane-like vehicles. And uh, you have to kind of take one of those plane-like vehicles and, um, and uh, adjust it. So um, anyway, this is what you're always going to be looking at first. Over here, we're going to call this the menu button where my thumb is over here. And I am going to um, just scroll to the right. And this is telemetry. Let's go back. It's not what I expected. Ah, that's what happened. So this is our main screen. One over. Scroll one over. We have monitor. And this is an important screen. If you look at uh, the monitor, and let's hope that we can see everything that we need to see uh, the ports on our receiver remember we're numbered one through six and you can see there's here one two three four five six those correspond in order at least right now you can change that but um, uh, that 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 right now it's um, you know corresponds so um, yeah, hopefully it's going to light up for me Let's go back and come back to this monitor. Okay, so if I move this up and down, you can see that THR throttle is what's getting moved right there. And if I go side to side, rudder. So this left toggle back and forth, right and left, is rudder. Uh, my right toggle up and down is ELE right here. Again, you can change this if you had to. And back and forth, right and left, I should say, is AIL aileron. Right now, I'm not controlling anything on my robot. But let's just look at this. Uh, because sometimes you have to do a little bit more adjusting. So we've got our, got our monitor. And we're going to try to set this up for tank drive. Um, and again, let's go back and forth. Uh, this was moving our monitor. If we... we uh, move that up. Let's turn this a little bit. You can see the, uh, the mark here. If we go like this, it's going up. And that is moving forward. And down is going the opposite direction. Okay, so that's what we want. Um, but if you recall, 
the other one, the right toggle. This was elevator. Let's take a look at elevator here. If we move the elevator, I have to move back. If I move elevator up, look at what happens to my wheel back here. Move an elevator up. Up is going in reverse. Down is going the other way. So this isn't what we want. We want, if we have both these go up, that should make the robot go straight. Right now that's going to spin it. So we need to uh, adjust this. Um, so as of now, we need to have our port, our motor in port one. Let's see, that's number one. And two, three, four. Oh, no, it's three. One, two, three, right there. And if you go back and look at our, our uh, receiver, Get it. So that's not bad. You can see that the top, this plug is just for powering the receiver, but then the next one is actually in port number one. Can't see it too great on this, but you can see it's near the top. You'll be able to see if you uh, put this on your own. And then you, it skips one, and then the second um, motor is plugged into three. So one and three, just like over here, one and three. Uh, what we saw moving but we're going to do one more thing and we're running a little bit long on this video um uh, so this this one here when that goes up the robot goes the other direction we don't want that so we can do something called reverse and let's go back to main screen we're going to click. We're going to click this button over here. Let's see. I'm just going to go to it. Servo setup is the second one there. Hard for you to see, but it is the second one on the main screen here. Click on it. And now what's highlighted is list. I'm going to scroll with my thumb here. One down to travel. Click on travel. Scroll over. The next thing would be sub trim. Then reverse. This is what we want. Click on that. Remember, it was ELE. That was the one that uh, was going the wrong direction. Watch what happens if I click on this. It goes the opposite direction. I just reversed it. So we're gonna, we got this. You can hear the rope that moving in the background. So we're gonna have to do one more thing. Go to main screen. Here we are in the main screen. Scroll one over to monitor. And now, let's pull back these buttons are what are called trim okay and each one of them is going to make one of these one of these models go up or down notice that the problem is ELE instead of being on zero it's on 11 right now that is the problem so we're going to need to uh, adjust the um, trim using these buttons. So let's look at what happens if I hit this this one. Which number is moving? You can see it's this one up here. It's a little bit fuzzy, but it's all the way up to nice. That's not what I need to do. I'm going back to the direction. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Get that on zero. How about this button up here? What if we go up? What's moving? Nothing's moving. That's throttle. For some reason, it won't let us change throttle. Um, 
So we're, we have a couple more buttons to look at. Uh, let's go up this one. And we can already hear this moving. You can see the ELE is going down. And I'm at seven, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And if we look at this uh, last one here, just to see what would happen if we had to change it. What's that moving? Looks like it's moving the aileron. Yeah, the second one right there. You can see that number going up, so let's get it back to zero by going the other direction. This is called trim. Generally, we'd like them all to be zeroed, at least for this model. So now, um, uh, let's check out our... Uh, I'm going to do this from sort of farther away. Let's look up. If we go up with this one, I left the motors going forward, down with that one. You can see that first this throttle is going down, and that's going in reverse. Forward, reverse. Now we need this toggle to uh, have up be forward with that motor and down be backward with that motor. So let's look. We, we had to reverse it to do this, but there it goes. Up is forward, down. Down is, uh, down is reverse. So there we go. That's um, tank drive now. If we let's see if I can hold this in a way, we can still see it. It's a great video right here. So finishing up, up, right forward, down. Both down, both back. And if I wanted to turn, one up, one down. The other one, one up, one down the other direction. This turns uh, the opposite direction. So this is your basic tank model.